experience, like the maybe creating a business for returns or broken broken electronics, broken everything actually. Um, and a lot of things aren't even broken, even though other people throw it away. So many new ideas, and of course, Chris, you're, you're the reason why we're here, and we want to thank you also for bringing all these people together, um, and I hope that we're not, you know, just one day here and then gone, but being part of the process, we really want to stay in touch. So, Chris, thank you so much. And now you can uh, guide us through the rest of the program. Wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. This has been so much fun, so heartwarming, eye opening. And uh, I could really feel the electricity in the room as people are passionate about this, we care about our town, and ideas start coming up and connections are made spontaneously in a way that is really magical to see. Um, so magic still has to be on the table for us with what we're doing, you know, that's got to be part of it. Um, thank you guys so much for spending the time, really, um, it's, it's so special to have folks like you coming here to share your ideas and to share your experience with us, and um, we know that it means something that we can continue to go with, like you said, with the relationships that uh, we're building here, it goes beyond just this moment in time here as well. So what we're able to do now is have follow-ups from this and keep the momentum going and see what emerges. Um, just a quick poll of who's here, who's interested in this place being the home of a repair cafe. Any, anyone think that might be interesting? All right. Excellent, so that could be something that we could work on. I heard people talking about uh, the fact that there's a lot of potential with the, the stuff that's not being recycled. What might we do with those things here in our town? And there's a lot of other ideas that are coming up too with the amount of resources and capacity that we all have individually that we're willing to share and work together with. So with that in mind, um, we're going to keep most of the lights on that work. Uh, we're gonna keep on. And uh, what we're going to do is just have the, the discussion continue. And so just a quick show of hands, who is still able to stay and wants to continue the conversation? That'll let us know what we're doing next. Wonderful. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take a quick break. We'll see what food we have left if you want to get some. And then uh, we'll go get into a circle and then we'll start to have a discussion in a way that is productive where each person will pass around a talking stick, can speak and be heard, and uh, the conversation will be around tangible next steps that we can take now that we've had this conversation so we can keep that momentum going. Yeah? What is Pocus Eco? So what is it? Post Carbon Cities of Tomorrow. Of tomorrow. Yeah. And, and towns, too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we can change that. We can officially change that to post-carbon cities and towns. Hey. <laughs> right on. Yeah, well, thank you guys for coming. And let's. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a quick break, and then we'll get a circle going, and we can all sit in a circle and keep talking. Thank you all for coming. Mwah!